Die hybrid cross. Die hybrid cross is much harder than mono hybrid cross and it's very time consuming. So you have to watch your step when you write the letter Z Leos. Otherwise when you make simple mistake it could pretty much mess up your whole cross. Let's take for example we have tall is T and yellow is Y. So small T would be short and recessive Y would be let's say for example green. So let's do a cross with a heterozygous tall yellow with another heterozygous tall yellow. So let's find the alleles of both parents. So here you have two choice. The first one is a tall and yellow. The second one is also a tall and yellow. So which one of these two is the correct allele for the parents? Now we have to pick out the hints. The hint is it's heterozygous. This is heterozygous. This is homozygous. So the correct one is this. And since both parents are the same, then the other parents would be the same allele. So first for a dihybrid cross, you would want a 16 box. And then you would put each of the allele into the boxes. Now when you put the allele into the boxes, you're going to take the first one, T, capital T, and then you're going to join it with one of the other one, which would be a capital Y. Then you do the same thing, capital T, small y, small t, capital Y, and small t, small y. So the first one, you have a capital T and a big Y. The second one is a capital T, small y. Can you guess what the next one would be? The next one is a small t, capital Y. And the last one is a small t and a small y. So since this parent is the same thing as this parent, we can put the alleles exactly the same. Now you might wonder why. Why don't we put a big T with a small t together instead of mixing the T and the Y? Well, if we put a big T and a small t together and the other parents give a big T and a small t, then the offspring is going to have 4T. Then that offspring is not going to be normal. It's going to be pretty wrong. So this is the rule of dihybrid cross. Just follow the rule and it's just that simple. Later on, I'll explain to you more why, how, and why this rule applies. But for now, just follow the rule and then apply it. We're not going to solve for it yet. We'll solve for it later. Love animals. I love animals. They taste great. What animal do you like 